Now you have your Plex server built and configured, you may want to access your content and media from anywhere. The configuration on your Plex server is easy. Under the settings, click on Remote Access. Just be sure Remote Access is enabled. You'll return to this page after you configure your router settings. I'm going to show you how to configure your network router so that you can gain access to your Plex from anywhere outside the home. This is not something you have to do. You can simply set up your Plex and use it within your home only if you wish. This all comes down to forwarding a port on your router's firewall. Your router may be different, so refer to your router's documentation, but I will use my router as an example. After you log into your router, you will need to locate your LAN settings. This stands for Local Area Network. In this section, locate your DHCP server settings. This is part of your router that assigns addresses to all the computers on your home network. You need your Plex server to always get the same IP address or network address for this to work. Under the DHCP, you'll need to look for the spot where you can configure a manually assigned IP address. Here you'll need to put in the MAC address of your Plex server. Basically out of all the addresses that your router hands out to your network, you're picking one that it will always give to your Plex server. To locate your MAC address, right click on the start menu and select run in the open window. Type the letters CMD and you'll get this box. This is your command prompt. Type this, ipconfig space forward slash all and hit enter. Just as you see here, locate your physical address. This is your MAC address. Copy and paste it or type it in the MAC address field in your router. Then select an IP address from your IP pool range and type it here. Next, you can give it a name such as Plex. Once you add it, you'll need to apply the settings. Now locate your firewall settings. There will be a section to configure inbound firewall rules. You will type a service name such as Plex and then skip the remote IP field. Next, you'll need to locate your IP. On newer routers such as this, you'll need the IP6 information. If you have an older router, it could be IP4 information which is the IP address you selected earlier. In newer routers, you will need to return to the IP configuration in the command window and copy and paste it here. For Plex, you'll have to specify the port range it uses, 32400. This is a TCP protocol. And this, add it and apply it. After you've updated your router, you'll want to reboot your Plex server or computer or instead, you can return to the command window and type ipconfig space forward slash renew and hit enter. You should notice that your network adapter now has the IP address you assigned earlier in your router. Now return to your Plex settings and check the remote access again. It should look something like this, letting you know you have access from the outside. I know this seems a little complicated, but it's necessary to get the full benefit of your Plex server. If you have a paid subscription to Plex Pass, you'll have other features that are now available as you share your content with others outside of your home. I will cover some of these features and the configuration of Plex in another video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you would.